Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. An officer involved shooting leaves one person dead this weekend. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. Still ahead on 7 at 7, a woman is dead and three children are taken to a hospital after a car crash on the 215 Beltway, the latest on the investigation. Plus, why an analyst is predicting gas prices in Nevada could reach as high as $10 a gallon and how it's all tied into the state of California. And a new master plan community plans to bring more than 3,000 homes to the Northwest Valley. We have all those details coming right up. We begin with Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. One woman is dead and three children were hospitalized this weekend after a deadly crash on the 215 Beltway. According to Nevada State Police, eastbound Cheyenne Avenue and the 215 was closed on Sunday morning after a car was seen on fire. Police say a woman was confirmed dead at the scene and three children were taken to the hospital in stable condition. The area was shut down for several hours and police are investigating the crash they say involved one vehicle. And a man who reportedly raised a firearm towards police was shot and killed by North Las Vegas officers on Saturday. Now, this is according to authorities. A press release states that officers responded to a four-vehicle crash on Craig Road and North 5th Street. And the driver who caused the accident was armed and threatening people and crews from the fire department on the scene. Police say that after several attempts to de-escalate the situation, the man raised his firearm towards several officers, prompting seven of them to shoot and kill the man. Last year, the Golden State Legislature created a new state division called the California Gas Price Gouging and Transparency Law, which manages the state's fuel operations. This law inspired the California Energy Commission to set maximum margins for oil refineries and penalize refiners that exceed the margin. Now, an analyst predicted that gas prices could climb as high as $10 per gallon if extreme measures are set. Governor Lombardo sent a letter to California Governor Gavin Newsom claiming, while we have no details on what this might look like, I'm concerned that this approach could lead to refiners either constraining supplies of fuels to avoid a profit penalty or even leaving our shared fuels market entirely. You can read more about the fate of state gas prices at LVRJ.com. Moving on to weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Gusty and cooler than normal temperatures are expected to start off your work week with a high of 100 degrees. Tomorrow, those gusty conditions will continue, but listen to this. We will be feeling a little bit cooler temperatures in the mid-90s, which will be a nice little break before going back into the hundreds on Wednesday. We're expecting temperatures to reach a high of 111 degrees for this upcoming weekend. Moving on to business news, a new master plan community plans to bring more than 3,000 homes to the Northwest Valley. Our 7 at 7 p.m. anchor Lena Bleets has the details. The new homes are slated to be built on 505 acres of former federal land near Red Rock Canyon and will include an extensive trail network and some commercial projects. Olympia Companies purchased the land for $55 million in November at a Bureau of Land Management auction. Construction on the homes is expected to start by the end of 2026, and Olympia says the entire project should be completed within eight years of the start date. And another chance to own a piece of Vegas history may be coming up. The Mirage liquidation sale begins August 1st, but it's unclear if it's open to the public. Offerings include the entire contents of hotel rooms and suites with special rates for hotel and Airbnb owners. This is according to the liquidation firm's website. Now for your sports update sponsored by PT's Taverns, your place to watch all the sports action. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. The Las Vegas Aces taking on their foe from the 2023 WNBA Finals over the weekend in the New York Liberty, but the Liberty got the best of the Aces. 90-82 was the final score. John Quell Jones led the way for New York with a career-high 34 points on the day. On the Aces side of things, it was first-time Olympian Kelsey Plum who found the bottom of the net the most for Vegas, scoring a team-high 22 points in the loss. Next up, the Aces take on the Seattle Storm Wednesday night. Moving on to your health news, if you're feeling a little more adventurous with your workouts this summer, we have a list of hikes you can look into in Southern Nevada. Although hazardous conditions have led to limited hiking options, Mount Charleston's open trails are not going to disappoint. 
Those looking for an easy short hike can take a Castus Trail in Kyle Canyon. For those advanced hikers, you can enjoy Eagle's Nest Trail in Fletcher Canyon Trailhead. The trail lacks opportunities for shade, but its views invite hummingbirds and even butterflies. And for thrill seekers, the North and South Loop leads to the 12,000 foot Mount Charleston Peak. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Boston Celtics lead the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals three games to one, looking to secure banner number 18 in their second finals appearance in the last three years, with the game five set to take place in Boston tonight. Boston is a minus 3,000 favorite to win the NBA championship at William Hill Sportsbook, and Dallas is plus 1,300. The Celtics are six and a half point favorites in game five, with the Mavs at plus 222 on the money line. The total is 209 and a half. Tip off from TD Garden is set for 5.30 p.m. Vegas Nation sponsored by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders have a wholesome little father-son duo on their coaching staff. Antonio Pierce's son, DeAndre, joins his dad in the pros as offensive assistant coach. His first NFL coaching job. The duo was together at Long Beach Poly where DeAndre found himself a three-star recruit. Then after DeAndre transferred from Boise State to Arizona State, AP was a coach there too. This coaching stop is not the first for DeAndre though. He served as defensive quality control coach at Cal Poly prior to joining his pops in the silver and black. In lifestyle news, there's an easier way to renew your passport online. The State Department has opened a trial run allowing a limited number of people to apply for their passport with a few clicks. Windows will open at 9 a.m. Pacific time each day and then close once the system has reached its daily limit. The department says it's taking it slow so it can monitor how the system is working. For more information and requirements, visit travel.state.gov. Moving on to entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Trellies as live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaTrellies.com to see who's playing. Vegas magician Murray Sawchuk has seen a spike in requests for him to perform, and that has also quadrupled his appearance fees. Now this comes after Sawchuk resigned from the Magic Castle and the International Brotherhood of Magicians after posting a series of online skits exposing several magic tricks. Sawchuk says that controversy has helped garner interest in who he is. His Facebook clips have drawn over 70 million views. For more on what Sawchuk has to say about his newfound popularity, you can visit LVRJ.com. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to get live updates and reminders on YouTube. And we hope you join us tonight for 7 at 7 p.m. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.